Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss an example to implement depth for search traversal technique. Already, we have discussed one example to implement the depth for search traversal technique. Now, this is the second example. And the procedure is initially we need to consider one vertex as the starting vertex and mark this vertex as visited. Okay. Next, to consider the adjacent unvisited vertices to the currently visited vertex 1. So, adjacent unvisited vertices are 5, 7 and 6. Break the tie and visit the number order. Since the vertices are given as numbers, consider the number order. So, break the tie and visit the vertex 5 first. Okay. So, now 5 we need to visit. Next, currently visited vertex is 5. Consider the adjacent unvisited vertices to 5. That is 4 and 9. Break the tie and visit 4. Next, currently visited vertex is 4. Adjacent unvisited vertex to 4 is 2 because 5 is already visited, right? So, adjacent unvisited vertex to 4 is 2. Now, visit 2. Next, consider the currently visited vertex and adjacent unvisited vertex to 2 is 9. Mark 9 as visited. Consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to the currently visited vertex 9. So, unvisited vertex is 7 because 5 is already visited, 2 is already visited. 7 is unvisited. So, 7 we have to visit next. Next, consider the currently visited vertex and consider its adjacent unvisited vertex that is 3 because 1 is already visited. Unvisited is 3. Visit 3. Next, consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to 3 that is 8. Mark it as visited. Next, consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to 8 that is 10. Mark 10 as visited. Next, consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to 10, that is 6, mark 6 as visited. Next, if you are considering 6 in this sense, its adjacent vertices 1 and 10, both is already visited. Okay. So, if you are considering all the vertices in the given graph, we have visited using depth for search traversal technique. And this is the DFS traversal output. So, DFS traversal output, if you are considering in this sense, it will search and visit the vertex deeper and deeper into the graph. So, this is the output and the data structure we are using in depth for search technique is stack data structure. So, now how we are going to implement DFS traversal technique for this given graph step by step using stack data structure that we will discuss now. Consider one vertex as the starting vertex. Okay, the first vertex here is 1. Start with vertex 1, push 1 into the stack. And the traversal output here is, first we have visited the vertex 1. So, now currently visited vertex is 1. Next, consider adjacent unvisited vertex to 1. So, adjacent unvisited vertex to 1 is 5 is adjacent, 7 and 6. All three vertices are adjacent to 1. All three are unvisited only. Now, we need to break the tie and mark 5 as visited. Because number order 5 comes first. So, we will consider 5 first. So, mark 5 as visited and push 5 into the stack. Already in stack 1 is there. Now, we need to push 5 into the stack. And the traversal output is 1 and 5. Next, currently visited vertex is 5. So, adjacent unvisited vertex to the currently visited vertex 5 is 4 and 9. Break the tie and visit vertex 4 first. So, push 4 into the stack. Already 1, 5 is there. Now we need to push 4 into the stack. Traversal output is 1, 5, 4. Now the currently visited vertex is 4. So the next step, consider adjacent unvisited vertex to 4. That is 2. So now mark 2 as visited, push 2 into the stack. So already in the stack if you are considering 1, 5, 4. 4 is there. Now we need to push 2 into the stack. And the traversal output if you are considering in the sense, it is 1, 5, 4. Now it is 2. Right? Next step, currently visited vertex is 2. Adjacent unvisited vertex to currently visited vertex is 9. Because 4 is already visited. 4 is also adjacent to 2. But 4 is already visited. Unvisited is 9. So, mark 9 as visited, push 9 into the stack. So, 1, 5, 4 and then it is 2. Traversal output is, now we need to push 9 into the stack. Traversal output is 1, 5, 4, 2, 9 now. Okay. Next step, 
consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to 9. So, adjacent unvisited vertex is 7. 5 is visited, 2 is already visited. So, unvisited is 7. So, push 7 into the stack. So, 1, 5, 4, 2, 9 and then 7 now. So, the top of the stack here is 7. Previous step top of the stack is 9. Okay. And the traversal output is 1, 5, 4, 2, 9, 7. Next step. Currently visited vertex is 7. Adjacent unvisited vertex to 7 is 3. Because 1 is already visited. So, adjacent unvisited to 7 is 3. Mark 3 as visited and push 3 into the stack. So, the stack content if you are considering it is 1, 5, 4, 2, 9, 7. Now, the top of the stack is 3. Okay. And the traversal output is 1, 5, 4, 2, 9, 7 and 3 now. Okay. Next step. Currently visited vertex is 3. Adjacent unvisited vertex to 3 years 8. 7 is already visited. So, 8 is unvisited. Mark 8 as visited. Push 8 into the stack. So, it is 1, 5, 4, 2, 9, 7, 3 and 8 you need to mark it as visited. Now, top of the stack is 8. Traversal output is 1, 5, 4, 2, 9, 7, 3. Now it is 8. Next step. Currently visited vertex is 8. Consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to 8 that is 10. So mark 10 as visited and push 10 into the stack. So stack content if you are considering in this sense. It is 1, 5, 4, 2, 9, 7, 3, 8. Now we need to insert 10 into the stack. And the traversal output is 1, 5, 4, 2, 9, 7, 3, 8, 10. Next step. Currently visited vertex is 10. And the stack contents if you are considering in the sense it is 1, 5, 4, 2, 9, 7, 3, 8 and 10. So, currently visited vertex is 10. Adjacent unvisited vertex to 10 is 6. So, mark 6 as visited and push 6 into the stack. And the traversal output, if you are considering in the sense, it is 1, 5, 4, 2, 9, 7, 3, 8, 10 and now it is 6. Okay. This is the traversal output. Next step, consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to 6. Adjacent vertices to 6, if we are considering it is 1 and 10, both is already visited. There is no adjacent unvisited vertex to 6. So, what we have to do it in the sense, pop 6 from the stack. Top of the stack element is 6. So, pop 6 from the stack. So, I will, so the stack contents, I will write it here. It is 1, 5, 4, 2, 9, 7, 3, 8, 10 and 6. And the top of the stack is 6 now. Okay. And here there is no adjacent unvisited vertex to 6. So, pop 6 from the stack. So, pop 6 from the stack and we have to place it into the popped order. So, first we have popped 6 from the stack. Next up. After popping 6, top of the element will be 10. If you are considering 10, there is no adjacent unvisited vertex to 10. So, pop 10 also from the stack. Okay. Next, top of the stack is 8. And if you are considering the adjacent unvisited vertex to 8, no adjacent unvisited vertex. So, pop 8 also from the stack. Next to top of the stack is 3. There is no adjacent unvisited vertex to 3. So, 3 also pop it from the stack. Next to top of the stack is 7. There is no adjacent unvisited vertex to 7 also because 1, 9, 3, everything we have visited. Right? No adjacent unvisited vertex. So, pop 7 also from the stack. Next to top of the stack element is 9. 
there is no adjacent unvisited vertex to 9 also pop 9 from the stack so 9 also we need to pop it from the stack next top of the stack element is 2 there is no adjacent unvisited vertex to 2 so pop 2 also from the stack and it is 2 next to consider the top of the stack element is 4 there is no adjacent unvisited vertex to 4 also pop 4 also from the stack next 5 also no adjacent unvisited element pop 5 from the stack similarly 1 also no adjacent unvisited element so 1 also pop it from the stack so now this is the popped order of element from the stack and dfs traversal output if you are considering in the sense 1 5 4 2 9 7 3 8 10 and 6 okay so this is the popped order of element so it is popped first next 10 next 8 next 3 likewise traversal output is 1 first element visited 5 is the second element 4 third element likewise Okay, so this is the DFS traversal output and this is the popped order of elements. And this is the procedure to implement the depth first search traversal technique. So, depth first search traversal will search and visit the vertices deeper and deeper into the graph. And this is the DFS traversal output for this given graph. Thank you for watching this video.